right, Eric from creditwit.com, powered by Better Qualified. Got a question last night about debt collectors. I'm getting calls at home, what do I do? Well, a lot of things you can do, but there's four real simple things you can do, hopefully to cut them off right at the beginning, so they end up, you end up either hanging up the phone or they kind of disappear. So the first thing you want to do, the very first thing, is ask the person their first and last name. A lot of times you're going to say Mr. or Mrs. Uh, you know, Smith is calling you, Mr. Thompson is calling you. No, I want the first and I want the last name of you who is calling. And be very, you know, demanding. Secondly, you want to know the company that they're working for. Not calling on behalf of, not doing, you know, work for. This is what company do you work for? That's what you want to ask. What company do you work for? Again, say it. They have to answer it. What number are they calling from? A lot of times they have scramblers. They're going to show up at different area codes and they're going to trick you into answering it. Maybe it's 732, or a regular number of your, I'm 732, but a number of your current area code. So what number are you calling from and where can I call you back at? Very easily, right? Okay. Never, never, ever give them your bank account or your social security number. You want to ask them specifically what account are you calling on and who owns the current debt? Seems simple, right? Those four things will keep it so that you will not have, most of the time, people hanging up the phone and running away from not having to call you back. That's pretty simple, right? Those are the four things you want to do. There'll be some more things coming up on uh, more debt calls, but uh, I don't want to make too long of a video. Those four things usually will nip them in the bud. Thank you.